Hello and welcome back to The Moral Limits. I'm Stuart Keller and with me is Jesus Sandoval and we are continuing our thoughts on Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. One of my biggest problems would be, so I thought the Demogorgon was great monster, right? Mm -hmm. Really original, loved it. You know what I didn't like? The fucking gas Parallax. Thing. Yeah. And the fact- I like the idea, I don't like the execution. And I didn't like the Demodog thing of just having a thousand little ones. Oh my god, yes. I love, there was, the, what made the Demogorgon so goddamn terrifying was the fact that there was one and he was unstoppable. Yeah. It killed whatever it wants, whatever it wants. I see, that's the thing though. Like, the what I liked about the Demogorgon is you could still kill it though. Like, Right, there's the, this idea by the, of yeah, it. Yeah, by but, the but, look of it, you could still kill it. Yes, you can kill it, but it's just so difficult. Right. That's because it's so You powerful. can't kill the fucking Parallax. No, you can't. And that was like, I was like... That, that's well, what made what it, it too... It was like, it was too far. It's yeah. godlike, you yeah. know? What, like, the Demogorgon was powerful in that Eleven was the one that had to beat it, right? And I really like the idea of Dart being of, like, let's show that all monsters on the other side are not bad. Right. That that the the evil is instinct and it's learned, you know? Right. It, it can be... Uh, but like, then it just it turns in and fucking kills the cat, which killed me. Yeah. I, 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 I fucking love cats. That yeah. goes without saying. Yep. I, cats are the greatest creatures ever to and exist And that's why I didn't like when uh, he fucking trapped it inside. He's like, sorry, but you killed my cat. I was like, no, too soon. Yeah. He should not have been making, like, quips and jokes. Yeah. I didn't like that. Did um, it feel Marvel to you? A little bit, a little bit. Dustin, he had that air of, like, nothing is really sacred or serious to me. Yeah. Except in the scenes where he was talking about getting laid. And that's why the sexual tension between him and Steve is so good. I fucking love it. They need to bang. Remember, remember when he tells him how good he looks with his hair? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I okay. shit. You know, so hard. you know who actually did go back in narrative quality? Nancy. Nancy. Yes, thank you. I didn't want to say it because I kinda like Nancy from the first season, but like she eh. got better near the end of the first season, but then you talk about narrative whiplash. She gets back with him and then immediately is like, yeah, I'm going to go fuck John. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I feel like John is a better fit for her, but he's still not good. It was like we were saying of Kingsman. Okay. Roxy would have been a better choice than the princess, but that does not make her good. That is not, yeah, that doesn't make her the best option. Exactly. Um, I think they really should have given their relationship a lot more time. Because they both, they both, they fucked, obviously, yeah. in that, um, in that, uh, fucking shitty cow, uh, mattress in, How in this fucking creepy guy's cute, house. How creepy was that guy? Dude, I thought he was creepy as shit, and then he made the best fucking joke ever in anything ever. Did you have trouble pulling out? And he fucking chokes on the eggs? I died. Fucking dead. Best joke ever. Love him. I also love the scene where he goes to the fucking military base and sits down and just fucking drinks his body. Okay, okay, whatever. here's the thing. Here's love the thing. Love the man. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. He's a great character. In writing, it's bad. In execution, it was good. Yeah. The idea of him is kind of like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, like, I was looking at him. Why the fuck him. would they go to him? He's such a fucking creepy guy that, like, I, I wouldn't... Know. I would never put myself in that situation. I would never fucking sleep there. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, no. No, that, that, was, that was stupid. But I do love him. He is great. He was a better execution of the uh, black lady from the first season. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, much better. Yeah. Um, I fucking... I, 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 I will go down in fucking history as hating this fucking secretary that was like... He only could be fucking irrational if he's in love. Her, 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 her. Fucking bitch. She lost... Or he lost... Her, his fucking brother. Oh man, the pronouns that you just stumbled on right I don't there. Because like I'm kind of pissed at Nancy too and fuck her. Okay, but, but the okay. narrative whiplash of her in the first season being like, "Oh, you brought me pizza, go fuck yourself." Yeah. And then being like, "Oh, I'll dance it with you at the dance." That uh, that's okay. Like she just I, fucking uh, whips back and forth. I agree, but like I like the idea. There's no setup. No, and that's the problem. The, that's it, it's that's just the like, only it's, scene. And honestly, when I was showed, watching okay. it, I was like, I had to turn to Anna Maria and I was like, did they interact in the first season? Like, did he have a mm -hmm. crush on her? Or am I just remembering yeah. every other 80s movie? Right, okay. 
And it's the, so forgettable because they only had that one scene. Mm -hmm. It's good in the sense that it shows she's come a long way as a person. No, she but hasn't. The, yes, she has. She's changed. That's the best part of it. But the problem is, she, like, it was never really shown to us that Dustin gave that much of a shit about Nancy. Like, he, it was hinted at a little bit yeah. with the pizza and him saying, man, she used to be cool. But, like, in that moment, you can kind of just brush it off and saying, "Yeah, but he's a little kid. Of course, he's gonna have." I also, I thought like girl, I thought it, you know? I thought it would have just been a uh, a good story of just having Dustin like be so filled like sexual tension and like drive, mm -hmm. and then not getting the girl. You know what I mean? Not having yeah, anyone. Yeah, he at the didn't dance. get the girl, and I I liked that. I also kind because of, especially okay, when also, you're listening to Will, someone like Steve, Will like getting a girl fucking stupid what the fuck where did that come from who is she what does she want i didn't understand that because for an entire year we were supposed to believe that like, he was being bullied yeah and then all of a sudden he gets a girl but dustin doesn't yeah and dustin's funny you know what i mean dustin's funny he has great hair now he looks awesome he, does he looks not. Yes, it does. Go fuck yourself. I, if Steve, I, I, Steve loves it, it's good yeah, hair. Yeah, but Steve has horrible hair, too. Steve has awesome hair. No, the both of them. Dustin loves Steve's hair. You don't understand. They both look they, like fucking lions. Yes, but they they are, to each other, attractive. Dude, dude That's what matters. Dust, Dustin's like... Rrr. Yes, I love that. Um, it's stupid, and he should not do it. Steve's totally right. But secretly, though, Steve was kind of like, you know, pulling the pants. He's getting a little too hard. That's why he told me I, to stop. He's like, I can't fuck this He's 18, yet. though, isn't he? Probably. Mm, yeah, because they're graduating. Ah! <laughs> no, because, like, they're probably... The pedophile's back, baby. <laughs> um, if he'd be a file. Um, wait, no, he's in middle so, school, so... No, no, high school. Probably... High school. No, 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 the kid, though. Dustin. Dustin's in middle school. Uh, so it's probably hebeophilia. He's not in middle, he's freshman, isn't he? No, he's not, he's not in high school. How old are they? Wait. Yeah, they are in freshman. Are they? Yeah. No. Okay, it doesn't make sense that, no. No, they're, they're in middle school. I'm uh, so, barely so last year of middle school? Maybe. No, they're yep. way too old to be in middle school. No, I could see it. They could, they're, I could see it because, like, they're, they're so mentally middle school. You know, I guess. But then again, no one else in their school is, and but like, I don't know. It's it. oh oh. Okay, by the way, what, no, 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 to... what the fuck was Barb's parents doing? Not having red hair. No, what the fuck was Barb's parents being introduced by um, fucking Nancy? Going like, I have I have information about your daughter, and then we never see them again. They're just kind of left in like this. What the fuck is she doing? What the fuck? They never go back to it. They never talk about it again. They just get kidnapped and that's it. It's fucking done. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. It's so stupid. But yeah, also, also, yeah, stereotypical fat people, right? They gotta eat fried chicken in their fucking KFC. Wow. Such a They didn't have shit. red hair! Yeah, but they're also stereotypical fat people and I was really pissed off They didn't that. have red hair! <laughs> uh, yeah. It's fucking, everything about them is fucking... Horrible, except the idea. Who did she fuck? <laughs> no one has red hair in that town. Um, <laughs> except Max. <laughs> oh shit! Max is good though. Max is fucking awesome. Yeah. I love her. She's so down to earth. But Thor though. Oh, oh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck is Thor? Is that was that a thing? Was that set up? Lies. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't you just love, and I only noticed this because, like, um, one of the episodes was named Dig Dug, and it made me think back, but, like, Dig Dug, it's the big, it's a big game, right? It's the, yeah, like, yeah. whoa, she beat our score, and Dig Dug, that's not, it's impossible. There's fucking tunnels everywhere! What? <laughs> that fucking got me, dude. I was, like, so, I was tripping like shit. That is good setup. You know what's a good setup? Now, if only, like, the monsters you were, know like, chasing them. You know what's good them. setup? What, what, if the, what if the monster was chasing them in that car, right? Then that first scene would make sense. Like, you see, like, the weird... The fucking uh, what's what they call it, mind flare, in like a fucking go kart chasing after him. That would make that first scene fucking perfect. Oh, wait, one last thing. One last thing. Yeah, remember in season one when he's <laughs> reading to his daughter in the hospital? Yeah. Oh, the bracelet. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Four. What Man. is it? It's a really, really good movie. I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be great, 
But it, it actually was... Yeah, it was, it, was, it was just great. I loved it. 90? Or 89? Because um, it's better than Winter Soldier. Okay, is it is it better than... The question is, is it better than, like, American Sniper and uh, Evangelion 1.1, uh, You Are Not Alone? Mm. Those movies are 90s. We have solidified that. They're bottom of 90, but they are 90. If it is better than those, it is a 90. If it is not, it's an 89. Or right at the Okay, cost. did you... Uh, uh, favorite character? Mm, Thor. Cord. Really? Yeah, Korg. He's the best character in the Marvel Universe since... But Thor was so good in this movie. No, 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 no. Korg. And Loki. No, 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 no. Korg. No! And Banner. He... And he talks about Tony have a tiny dick. Tony's got a, like a little baby dick. You know, cause tight pants. That was funny. Right? Korg. <laughs> The, the scene at the end, like, I could literally go on about all his scenes. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go back to near the beginning, where Thor's talking about his hammer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I would throw my hammer, and it would pull me off. Ew, it would pull you off? <laughs> Korg was just fucking amazing! <laughs> yeah, I yeah. stored oh, my own... he's dead. Yeah. I, I accidentally stepped on him during the battle. I feel kind of bad, so, so I've just like... been carrying him around for, like, a day. <laughs> <laughs> you're alive! Oh, oh wow, well, Meek, you're alive! Thank oh. God! <laughs> I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was tried. perfect. What was perfect? It was like, he just, everything he did was perfect, and there was not a single moment where he jeopardized any part of the movie. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to sound like a dumbass. Mm. The guy, the king, the guy, main guy, Odin. Jeff, Jeff Goldblum? Oh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, okay, cool. I, I thought that was his name, but I was like, uh, maybe um, I'm a dumbass. Life finds a way. Yeah. He. Perfect. He's really funny, and I love him, but he really had no... Like, at the end, I just feel like when they uh, tumble down the Empire, that scene did not... Uh, it was a post credit scene. No, I, like, I thought that was perfect, because um, there's two things I would have liked to have seen. That's perfect. I, it's... Okay, what reminds me of is, remember at the end of Avengers, like, I have a lot of problems with the Avengers movie. But one right. thing I really like was when they defeat Loki, and Loki's response is... I think I'll have that drink now. I like. It's the, just okay. a perfect response. It's, it's not. It's it's less about his response no, and no. more. I don't like the idea of like these savages outside of his city, and um, I don't like the idea that like. Hold the, up. Hold okay, up. The, the fucking revolution that they have that yeah. had right. Yeah. Hold up. Okay. There, wh why? This is, hold up. There, there's two parts. There's two. Care. There's two parts to this. Okay, right. Okay. Go on. Um. Because the idea is that. Uh, the the champions got out and they started a revolution, right? Which means now they realize how their whole thing is a lie and the grandmaster is evil, right? That's what I, set, okay. No, I don't. That's I don't, what set I don't up. See, I don't see the society really seeing it that way. No, 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 no. That's what happens when all the champions get out. Mm -hmm. Is they start a revolution, as Korg said, right? Mm -hmm. So that's happening. That's a setup. And then the the next thing would be overthrowing the grandmaster, right? Which means he's toppled and he ends up on the outside. Now, when he wakes up, that is a perfect response. But there should have been a third part to that. Maybe that should have been in the actual movie. And a post credit scene would have been, like, something alluding to his death or crucifixion. You know what I mean? Maybe make his stupid weapon actually relevant in the plot. Wouldn't that be nice? Right, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of it, but really came up once... To show what it did, but you and know then what I mean? was like, oh, I don't want to melt people. Like, right? in a Game, Game of Thrones sort of way, like, right. seeing his head on a spike or some shit. Oh, okay, yeah, something something to show. Yeah, okay, I, I get that. Yeah, because, like, it would be great like, for but, him to, but, like, wink and a smile to the camera of, like, I mean, like, without me, you wouldn't be slaves, and, you know, I'm the, the hero, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. perfect, but then also show that the response to that is a fucking head on a stake, you know what I mean? Right. No, see, here's, okay, here's my thing, though. I don't see that the society would even topple him after everyone escaped. Yeah. I don't see that because everyone in that city, everyone in that town, they're all content. They were all happy. They loved him. Everyone, only the slaves had a problem with him and they all left. They're not there anymore to topple him. So I don't see why he was toppled at all. And I also don't understand why he was in a ship moving towards, the ch like tor trying to chase them down. Why was he in that ship at all? 
Like, what's what would be the point of the fucking right? And then this is why it's chasing it's, after this the is why it's at a heroes. ninety. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's my problems with those. Right. I love him. He's great. He's funny. I love everything. He Honestly, does. I don't think the champions should have gone after with Thor and Loki. No, what would have been great is that if at the end Thor like came back to free everyone, that would have been a good way to like close I, here's it off. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Know? And my problem with um, Loki in this movie, and again, him and Thor do amazing jobs, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem is, there is no look at Loki from Thor one to now. There's no yeah. arc. No. He's they just, try to make it seem like no, there's an yeah, yeah. They try they hope, to. They hammer it in. Hacks like Stuckman yeah. <laughs> and Screen Junkies, they all like to make it sound like this is the perfect conclusion to the entire trilogy. But in the end, it's just a fucking coast correction for yeah. two shit movies. Yeah. This movie, okay, one, it makes Thor compelling. It makes him yep. great. Yep. Which is awesome. But, but in order to do that, mm -hmm. they had to sacrifice the first act, which was shit. Mm -hmm. In order to make two and three possible, I like act, talking to the skull. That part, that scene was cool. All those scenes were cool. All those scenes were fine. But narratively, they do not work. Oh yeah, yeah okay, I see you. I see. If you just watch those scenes individually on YouTube, you're fine. Mm -hmm. If you watch that as They're a good movie, scenes, do, they do, just do, don't, do. yeah, they yeah, don't mesh. Um. Even Hella, like I said in the uh, Big Deal News, she was she was entertaining. Mm -hmm. As an actress, she did an amazing job. But what that movie does not do is give her something to do. Yeah. The problem is, is they I just... I love the idea she brings to the table, but not her execution. At all. Yeah. Um, the problem with Loki is, like, there's no, like... He was searching for his father's approval in the first one. And I got that. In the first... That's why, like... That's why I like Thor 1 better than Thor 2. Because at least in Thor 1, there was compelling parts of it. Mm -hmm. Loki was amazing in Thor 1. Mm -hmm. If you look at Thor 1 through Loki's eyes, that would be an amazing movie. Yeah. But the fact is, you spend half the movie with <laughs> Thor and uh, his gang on Earth, and it fucking sucks. Bring me another! That scene's fucking That up. is. But yeah, I see what you mean. If you just followed Loki's scenes, the movie would be amazing. Yes. That being said, go to Avengers. The problem with Avengers is... It's, he wanted his father's approval, so then he just goes to Thanos to get an army to, it's all very convoluted and yeah. never at all And explored. then now he just, like, basically kills his father. Like, he, he strands yeah. him on fucking Earth, and it's like, yeah. he goes kind of senile, and he's just dead. I would have loved, and there's a scene in the movie that I really liked of Thor, he stops trying to save Loki. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they followed that up with Loki being like, okay, now that you don't want me to be good, I will be good. Yeah. They, okay. And that was bullshit this, at the end. Th this entire... This, you know like, what would have been good? Mm -hmm. If the champion stayed on Sakaar, overthrew the Grandmaster, and Loki you know... Loki took charge? Yes. Yeah. Loki... Thor is right. Loki would thrive in that world. Mm -hmm. And he would be a better ruler than the Grandmaster. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Not necessarily more fair, but a better ruler. Through all the things I've had to see, visions of the paths to be, the moral limits are unseen, and now it all seems clear to me. That arguing is painless, it brings a little changes and I can do it with whomever I please. Fuck you, no you can't, only with me.